scientific measuring devices. The device pictured shown is called a pH meter. It is a scientific measuring device that measures the acidity of a liquid. Being able to use scientific measuring devices such as this is an important science skill. That's because doing science typically involves making many measurements. For example, if you do lab exercises in science, you might measure an object's length or mass, or you might find the volume of a liquid. Scientists use sensitive measuring devices to make measurements such as these. The measurements are usually made using SI units of measurements. Measuring length with a metric ruler. You've probably been using a ruler to measure lengths since you were in elementary school. But you may have made most of the measurements in English units of length such as inches and feet. In science, length is most often measured in SI units such as millimeters and centimeters. Many rulers have both types of units, one on each edge. The ruler picture shown here has only SI units. It is shown here bigger than it really is, so it's easier to see the small lines which measure millimeters. The large lines and number stands for centimeters. Count the numbers of small lines from the left end of the ruler 0, 0.0. You should count 10 lines because there are 10 millimeters in centimeters. Measuring mass with a balance. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. Scientists often measure mass with a balance. A type of balance called a triple beam balance is shown in the figure. To use this type of balance, follow these steps. Place the object to be measured on the pan at the left side of the balance. Slide the movable masses to the right until the right end of the arm is level with the balance mark. Start by moving the larger masses and then fine tune the measurements by moving the smaller masses as needed. Read the three scales to determine the values of the masses that were moved to the right. The combined mass is equal to the mass of the object. Here very small masses. Scientists use electronic balances like the one in the figure. This type of balance also makes it easier to make accurate measurements because mass is shown in digital readout. In the picture, the balance is being used to measure the mass of a white powder on a plastic weighing tray. The mass of the tray alone would have to be measured first and then subtracted from the mass of the tray and powder together. The difference between the two masses is the mass of the powder alone. Measuring volume with a graduated cylinder. At home, you might measure the volume of a liquid with a measuring cup. In science, the volume of a liquid might be measured with a graduated cylinder like the one sketched in the figure. The cylinder in the picture has a scale in milliliters with a maximum value of 100 milliliters. Follow these steps when using a graduated cylinder to measure the volume of a liquid. Place the cylinder on a level surface before adding the liquid. After adding the liquid, move so your eyes are at the same level as the top of the liquid in the cylinder. Read the mark on the glass that is at the lowest point of the curved surface of the liquid. This is called meniscus. Summary In science, length may be measured with a metric ruler using SI units such as millimeters and centimeters. Scientists measure mass with a balance such as triple beam balance or electronic balance. In science, the volume of a liquid might be measured with a graduated cylinder.